Hey guys, and welcome back to another Conan Exiles video. Today we are on an island in the Southern River, just on the border between the desert and the jungle, east of Lookout Point, building a Daketo bathhouse. This build was suggested by Zero Effect Zero on my bank build guide, so thanks for the suggestion, Zero. It's been a while since I've done a bathhouse build, with my last one being all the way back in June, and looking at my list of suggestions, I definitely thought it was time to tackle another one. Whereas my last bathhouse was a very complicated design that featured both closed and open water bath designs, this is a much simpler build that will have one large bath for all the visitors, along with some small seating areas on the ground floor and seating galleries on the first floor that overlook the bath. As I said, this is a really quite simple design, and could be made even simpler by building the corner towers you'll see soon with square foundations as opposed to wedge. So without further ado, let's get started. Firstly, I'm going to start off with, of course, the base plate, or in this case, I guess, the outline of it. I'll start with a circular two-tier base in one corner, then building foundations out to make the build rectangular, with one of these circular formations in each corner to start off the towers. I made sure to build the smaller front-facing side seven tiles wide so it could fit a gate right in the middle, though you could scale this up or down to fit your needs, whatever you prefer, or you could just choose to use regular doorways. I also added porch areas on either end of the bathhouse, with the front one being smaller to include stairs, and the back one being closed off to allow visitors to simply relax. I chose Terranian for this build, as the colour scheme really does fit Daketo in terms of the themes of the goddess, and also it nicely matches the shrine. Next for the platforms inside the bathhouse. After playing with the design a little bit, I opted for platforms coming from each end of the build, made from square foundations, as it's almost impossible to get everything to sit flush, and I didn't really mind the look of these small alcoves in each corner. Next for the walls. I first placed the gateways on either side of the build, though I would later remove the gateway on the back side. I then began building up the towers firstly, using a wall design that wraps around the stairs as they ascend upwards, raising the inner one tier circular foundations with walls to mount the stairs against. I built up four tiles high, intending to match the height of the gate frames. I also built out a small balcony on each tower just for viewing the surrounding area, and then built a one tile high extension atop the towers and capped it off, as I wanted to put some statues atop these extensions later. I then built ceilings across the one wall I'd already placed, and continued with the other three towers. Once they were complete, I would also have built all the walls around the bathhouse, leaving the build open top.
Next, I place stairs inside the bathhouse to lead down to the baths, removing the gate frame at the back side of the build and replacing it with a pleasure palace of Daketo, so that the goddess can watch over the bathers as they engage in activities that are most likely not very PG-13. I added door frames on either side of the shrine, leading to the back porch area. Next, I built the galleries above the bathhouse. I built small galleries on each side, intending to give them visual support inside the main bathhouse in the furnishing phase with the decorative wooden supports. These galleries are designed to be viewing decks, where visitors can either enjoy the environment around the bathhouse, or can look down on those less than PG-13 activities I mentioned earlier. I also placed fences all around the outside and inside of the galleries, and towers to prevent any accidents then placing the statues I mentioned earlier upon the tower extensions. Finally, I used Terranian sloping roof pieces to smooth the transitions on the outside of the walls, which makes the build look a lot more fluid and structured, as opposed to the bare foundations that were there before. Finally, when the shell of the build was done, it was then time to of course furnish. Approaching the build, I've lit the bathhouse with terranean wall and hanging lamps, which fit the build well and provide just enough lighting to still have a nice ambience that brings out the nice golden tones in the terranean pieces. Entering the bathhouse, the main bathing chamber is a luxurious, extensive room, with small platforms on either side, all watched over by the statue of Daketo on the shrine. The bathhouse receives visitors from all over the exiled lands, and is well equipped with enough seats and room in the bath for everyone.
The shrine is decorated with skulls and incense, whilst the Keto dancers perform either side of it. The back porch is a modest seating area, with another dancer performing for the visitors. Heading up the tower, these are the viewing galleries. The galleries have a great view across both the surrounding River and Bard's Academy, and also down into the bathhouse. And there we have it, a Decato bathhouse in the Southern River, on the island just east of Lookout Point. Thanks for watching and thanks again to Zero Effect Zero for the suggestion, I've quite enjoyed making this build. If you've enjoyed this video leave a like and let me know in the comments below if you have any build suggestions for future videos, as usual, absolutely anything is welcome. Don't forget to both follow me on Twitch and join the fun in our Discord through the links in the description. YouTube is currently my full time source of income, so if you enjoy the content and would like to help support the channel so I can continue to put out the best content possible, do consider becoming a patron. There are multiple tiers of support from $1 to $20, offering many different benefits from a mention in every video to Discord roles and even sneak peeks at every new video before anyone else. The link to my Patreon is in the description below, so if you'd like to support the channel, feel free to consider becoming a patron. On that note, a thanks to our current patrons Sammy, Sir Dialot, Randar, and Dawnfox. If you're new here, feel free to check out the rest of the content on the channel. There are new Kern Nexiles videos coming every Wednesday and Sunday, so if you like what you see, subscribe and ring the notification bell to be the first to see the next video and to join us on the road to 10,000 subscribers. Again, thanks for watching, and I'll see you soon.